Hi there, Simon from simonwood.com. Uh, I've got three white Bordeaux in front of me and uh, I'm looking forward to them. It's a, it's a style that I really enjoy drinking and I'm not sure, quite sure why it's not more popular. The reds, yes, they're very, very popular, but the whites, well, let's see if I can convince you. Actually, I better taste them first because they might be, they might be pantalon, but I don't think they're going to be. Uh, first one, a familiar name, Dort Numeral 1, number one. Um, to hopefully it doesn't taste like number one, made from Sauvignon Blanc, 2014, uh, and I think it's 100% Sauvignon, 100% uh, Sauvignon, blah, 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 benchmark. Uh, I will just dig into it and see where I get to. Cut grass, uh, a little bit of squeeze of lemon and lime, uh, a little bit of asparagus in there, but it's more this uh, crisp, crunchy fruit. Um, uh, yeah, the, the um, and what I call green flavours. Uh, a bit of green gauge in there with the citrus fruit, but um, it smells like it's going to be bright and refreshing. And it is bright and refreshing, but uh, as well as those we those flavours, it's quite a bit of weight to it. Um, sometimes they get weight by adding a little dollop of semi on to to round it out and fat fatten it up. But here, um, if, I don't know what the alcohol is. It doesn't, I don't think it's particularly high, twelve percent. But they seem to have got really quite a lot of richness in there. Uh, so in with this citrus, in with the green gauge. Maybe there's a little bit of nectarine hovering in there too. Um, very tasty and um, yeah, quite fleshy. I could drink rather a lot of that. Let's see whether I can say the same about um, number two, which is Chateau Argadon's Argadon, um, 2014. Um, again, basic Bordeaux appellation uh, from the Seychelles family, uh, and this Sauvignon Semillon, 65. It's so about two thirds Sauvignon, one third. Uh, Semillon. Let's dig in and see what this one's like. What Semillon brings to the blend? Um, sometimes Sauvignon, when it's a bit young, can be uh, just a little bit uh, tart and aggressive. Semillon just sort of says. Calm down, chap, uh, you young whippersnapper. And then as the wine ages, the semillon thinks, right, OK, out of the way, and I'm going to strut my funky stuff. Let's see whether it's strutting its funky stuff here or whether it's still on the young side. Yeah, quite a different style, this. Um, the first one was all about that crispness, that greenness. Here, um, I don't know whether there's a little bit of oak ageing that's gone on, uh, but it's, it's picked up a little bit of uh, what I call tinned pear character. can't remember the last time I had tinned pears, but um, a flavour that's familiar from childhood. And, um, yeah, there's that uh, crunchy, gritty tinned pear. Again, a weighty wine. Um, Lots of juiciness, uh, fatter and fleshier than the, the, the Dort, uh, not as overt and crisp, but rounder. I mean, if, this is the, if, the, if the Dort is the one to drink uh, um, summertime, this is more of a fleshier winter wine. Uh, maybe shellfish for the first and fatter fishy dishes, monkfish or something, uh, with this second one. Again, I like this very much. Yum. Enjoying these. Let's see whether uh, we can finish on a high with uh, number three, which is Chateau du Druc, 2012, and it's from Grave. So should be a level up the pecking order, um, and uh, then the, the basic Bordeaux. Uh, let's see what we can see about, um, no, it doesn't say what it's made from. Um, let's see if I can detect what it's made from. Let me get me conk in here. Now I hope there's a little bit of semillon in here because there's a character there that's either from a little bit of oak aging or it's from the semillon as it opens up, getting a little bit rounder, uh, more honeyed, a little bit of honeysuckle coming through there. So it's less on the bright citrus flavours and the crunchy pear that I was getting in number two. And yeah, it seems like an extra, extra layer of weight here. Um, it's a two years older, uh, maybe more semillon, maybe a little bit of oak. I'll taste it. Slightly more old-fashioned style. Uh, there's a little bit of nuttiness that's going on in there, um, and I think part of that is sulphur-related. It's okay. It's not one I'm uh, jumping up and down. I certainly prefer the previous two. Um, uh, 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 so, yes, you've got these little bit of weighty flavours. You've got these uh, floral, um, yeah, heady, honey, honeysuckle. But I think I prefer the, uh, the crispness and punch uh, of, the, of, of, the, of the, the previous two. It's okay, but um, the ones that I'm going to be uh, going for a glass off first are, are numbers one and two. So, nice set of three wines. Go out, buy some white Bordeaux before everyone discovers it and prices go up. See you soon. Mm -hmm.